Hi, I'm Dr. Jerry Hesch, a physical therapist from the Hesch Institute in Aurora, Colorado. And um, we have here an anatomical model of a foot. And we have my client who I saw a month ago for two visits. Uh, this is Mark Johnson, and he's going to tell us his story of how he got cuboid pain, uh, his attempts, how long it lasted, his attempts to get treatment, and uh, his experience here at Hesch Institute in Aurora, Colorado. Thank you, Mark. Well, hi. Um, what happened to me uh, to get my injury was I was jogging and I tripped uh, on some asphalt and uh, my left foot went forward to catch, uh, catch me uh, so that I wouldn't uh, have a face plant or something and uh, came down really hard and it was right on the top of an asphalt um, uh, speed bump and so uh, you can imagine how hard that was and um, I knew that it was uh, it was hurt pretty bad painful but then I was still able to walk at home about a, a half a mile or so to come back to the house and so uh, that's how I got the thing and uh, I was already being treated uh, uh, for a, 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 a severe a sprained ankle on that same foot and uh, that was that happened about eight or nine months before that and uh, I was being treated for that and so what happened was is they just uh, added that new injury to the treatment and they were we were they were um, you know treating it just like uh, repairing uh, my ankle um, and so, um, what I what I got there after uh, we added that one, they sent me back for some X-rays and uh, a couple of visits into the tube and uh, soft tissue scans uh, and no uh, no problems no other problems were discovered there. They couldn't find anything any different than uh, the x-rays and uh, the other things uh, that were taken for the sprained ankle. And so when you say in the tube, you mean an MRI? Uh, it probably was. I don't, I don't remember what those things are. But yeah, very good. All right, so some kind of imaging test. The claustrophobic tube. That one, know? that one, yes. Yeah, okay, so it's an MRI. I'll remember, remember that. Thanks, Doc. Um, and um, the treatment that uh, they did was they gave me probably three cortisone shots uh, over over a couple of months, um, physical therapy, and uh, chiropractic treatment as well uh, with uh, with a, my chiropractor that um, I still use here. Uh, and uh, none, of, none of those things ever gave me any lasting improvement of the pain at the cuboid bone. I had no idea it was a cuboid bone at the time. I was still treating it as an ankle uh, injury as well as all of my docs and all the rest of it. Um, and so uh, that went on for quite some time. My accident happened in uh, 2012, and um, and so just just to give you an idea of uh, how long I was dealing with some pain. Uh, anyway, uh, eventually uh, the classic question got asked, and uh, uh, the classic answer was given to me. And it's, uh, was, uh, well, what do I do about this pain? And the answer was, well, stop doing whatever's giving you pain. <laughs> and, uh, 
and so uh, I had <laughs> it was uh, yeah, man oh man there was there was lots of things that made it worse uh, and so there were a lot of things that I had to give up uh, there was one thing uh, there was only one thing that ever really helped me uh, on the long end of things and that was uh, KT tape tape uh, to stabilize what I now understand is a cuboid bone uh, but at that time it, it, it I just was uh, working it around so that it would uh, feel better and I got it uh, so it, I got it stabilized, and I thought about getting a, a, a uh, uh, <laughs> oh, geez, uh, a tattoo where I went, <laughs> you, you know, where the edges were on there so that I wouldn't forget them, and I was using a uh, permanent pen uh, to go around, well, just, just to make sure that the next time I needed to replace that about every three days, uh, if I would have it in the same place because if it got off just a little bit it would be part of the problem and not part of the, the part of uh, getting me better and so um, uh, there was a long list of stuff that made it hurt more uh, um, and one of them was forgetting to put KT tape on and walking out of the door <laughs> Uh, and um, uh, things like that were, were pretty darn minor, I felt, was if I put on a pair of socks with compression bands in the middle of them, uh, I could wear those for about 10 minutes and I would be quickly taking my shoes off and uh, getting uh, different socks. Um, uh, uh, wearing low-cut shoes was a problem. Uh, going barefoot in the house with or without KT tape, uh, you know, I might be able to do that for 10 minutes or so, but then I was really looking for my orthotics and um, my boots. Um, let me see. Uh, I couldn't swim. Uh, I, I couldn't swim. Uh, without being in pain, um, lacing my boots too tight, my, my left boot too tight or too loose uh, would uh, bring it on. Uh, I, uh, if I was hiking on rocky trails or side hills, uh, that would set it off as well. Uh, playing baseball, uh, dancing with my wife, um, getting in the saddle and in my foot in, in uh, uh, the stirrup uh, after about two or three minutes of riding a horse, uh, I, I needed to get off. So I was doing, doing without a lot of things and uh, a lot of things that were important to me. Uh, it's, it, it has been really, um, you know, it's, it's really been uh, a chore for me. Anyway, um, let's see. Um, I wasn't wasn't real satisfied with that. It was okay. Uh, I could probably go without pain for two or three days. But any time that I wanted to do any of those things or even come close to those things, uh, it would come back on me. And uh, then, uh, then I just had to get the KT tapes squared away again if I needed to and uh, take it easy for a day and uh, it would be back to being uh, r relatively okay. I was uh, not living in horrible pain. Uh, it was uh, periodic and came and went and... Uh, uh, I, w I was still in the pro when I uh, went to see Dr. Hesh, I was still in the process of learning because, uh, you know, you do different things like sit in an airplane uh, and uh, that kind of thing. So, um, uh, I, I guess I'd like to tell you now about how I found you. And uh, it, it started uh, way back in 20, it was probably 2012 uh, or 2013.
2014, uh, I was, like I say, I was not really satisfied. Uh, I wanted to be more able to do things, and so I was looking in the internet for uh, things to explain to me uh, why it would still be hurting after, uh, after my ankle felt fine. And I, I didn't really realize that at the time. I, I just figured it was still the ankle. Well, um, the, the, the break came when I found uh, Jerry's blog, your, your blog, uh, that described the cuboid syndrome and when I was reading that thing, I still got a copy of the original that I printed off. I was so dang happy to see that. Um, it explained just exactly what I was going through. Um, and uh, so uh, that's how I came across you. And um, at the same time, I was still going to physical therapy and all of those things. And I was seeing a foot doctor, and they had some thoughts about what to do and all of that kind of stuff. And so I never really got a hold of you until uh, two years ago, I believe, when uh, um, the good Lord uh, had my son uh, was given a job in Denver. And all of a sudden, I remembered, well, man, I think, I think that... Uh, that guy is, um, I think he's got an office there in uh, close to Denver. And so uh, that's how I got a hold of you and uh, tried to get there. Now, uh, it turned out that year uh, we weren't able to get to Denver. And, uh, and so um, I, I never, I never forgot about it, but still, again, uh, my doctors were still trying to figure it out, uh, what was going on, and uh, the last thing that uh, I, I almost did, but I, I, I but anyway, was uh, take the, uh, the laser, the laser things that makes your, uh, your, uh, rejuvenate. The, your, the plate, place where you're having trouble, uh, it, when it heals, it rejuvenates. And um, so uh, I, I eventually got a hold of you, Jerry, and uh, uh, did the paperwork and that kind of stuff. And uh, I, on the same day I called you, I called my foot doctor and said that I, I wasn't gonna, gonna do that that I was going to try some other stuff. And uh, so she was okay with that. And, um, and, and so I came to see you, and man, am I glad I did. Uh, you, uh, the, like I say, the description you had in that uh, blog, uh, I, I thought you were looking over my shoulders for the last six months or two years. And um, you just described it. You just described it to a T. And um, so uh, we came, and uh, I thank you for uh, bringing my wife in so that she could uh, help with stuff. I uh, uh, what I what I tell people here is is I went in there and. You talked to me for a little while, and then you, you felt my cuboid bone, and uh, by, by now I, I knew that it was, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, you uh, started working on that and describing as you went along, uh, which was really appreciated, what in the heck you were doing, and you also, uh, well, during your diagnosis time, uh, you explained what your uh, what you were doing during the di diagnosis, and was able to show me on my right foot 
that uh, you know it was hung up my left one was hung up compared to uh, my right one it was free to go uh, as far out as uh, it had go and so um, then uh, here, here's what I tell people um, you grab me under my heel and on top of my uh, uh, arch and um, you worked on it and uh, and you said that you needed probably to correct my cuboid but also my um, my my ankle was still uh, doing something there and so uh, you did that for about 20 seconds I'd say maybe 30 seconds on the outside treating that part of my foot and I put it down and I said okay uh, I, can, I can feel that the, the cuboid isn't there now it was um, but what are you going to do with my uh, uh, ankle and you, <laughs> you said your ankle fixed too <laughs> and so uh, in 24 seconds in 24 seconds or 30 seconds um, five years basically of pain that went away in 24 seconds and um, and so uh, after that uh, I'm sure you remember uh, there were you said okay so where else is it hurt and so I described my lower back and my uh, uh, my shoulder at the scapula and a couple of other things and you said well that doesn't surprise me at all and uh, 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 you said that those were probably um, brought on by uh, this long-term uh, cuboid bone problem and so you um, you corrected those things and you showed uh, me and my uh, well my wife and I to on um, how uh, to maintain that since uh, we're coming we were coming back to Arizona I mean Arizona to Nevada and um, and so you gave us uh, all the information we needed to carry on to if uh, and, it, and it's happened a couple of times I'll give you an example my cuboid bone was was uh, uh, giving me some pain when I woke up in the morning and I remembered uh, the exercise that you gave gave me that to kind of uh, uh, stretches and you bounce against uh, uh, where as far as your hips gonna go to the other side and I could feel my foot was flattening out and I, I did that for 20 uh, 25 uh, bumps and um, and when I was done the, uh, the pain was gone and so um, th and th the same thing has happened with me uh, with both my la lower back and my upper back with a scapula Jerry and Appreciated and that Marie has appreciated since she had to help me with one of them was the videos that you gave us uh, or sent uh, us over uh, the internet on what you were doing and you, you explained it all over again and uh, I, I really feel uh, that those things Jerry have uh, have really improved my quality of life because I don't really have to worry about uh, I don't have to worry about man that thing is coming back or something like that you know uh, uh, you gave me the, the ability and the tools to 
be able to fix fix those things here before they get worse. I assume they get worse. Uh, and so, um, since since seeing you and being back here for five five weeks, maybe or six, uh, that's the story that I've got from for uh, how I'm doing. I don't put the KT tape on anymore. Uh, I'm wearing different shoes that are that are low cut. Um, uh, I don't have to worry how tight I, I cinch my uh, uh, hiking boots. Uh, I still am really mostly using those hiking boots uh, just so that I don't foul things up a little bit. And uh, I'm also using the um, exercises that you gave me to strengthen the muscles that are on my left foot that have been inactive for five years. And I can tell that my foot is not walking as much on the, the outside of edge of my feet. They're coming back uh, to the front, uh, I mean to the front, they're coming back uh, to the middle uh, so I'm walking more with my uh, big and my next toe uh, being where I'm walking over the top of it. So I, uh, I guess I'm about out of about out of story there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have any questions, Jerry? About um, how I'm doing here? Well, one important thing is that you had three cuboid whip manipulations. Oh, yes, I did. I forgot to say that. Yeah. And that was one of the things that, uh, uh, that when I read your article, I went, I've done that. And it, the, the exact thing happened that you said. Uh, on all three occasions, man, uh, when he got done with the whip, I... Um, I was... Uh, oh boy oh I really felt good about it and uh, man I could walk right and all the rest of that stuff but by golly the next morning or the next day in some cases it was right back again and word for word I mean it was word for word uh, um, what you said in that um, in that um, blog uh, so um, um, really, uh, it, it's it's really interesting, and uh, actually, the chiropractor here has told me that he is interested in uh, in finding that stuff out. So um, yeah, we have a home study program, and I just got some feedback from a chiropractor on Monday, and he finished his home study program with me, and he was absolutely delighted very very happy with with the program um, but one important thing is that the cuboid whip helped you temporarily but it wasn't treating the other two joints when I treated you and with the exercise also I treated the midfoot the navicular bone had lost some rotation and also the joint below the ankle called the subtalar joint we worked, that's when I twisted your heel. And so the, the important point I want to make is that treating just the cuboid bone where it's stuck and where it hurts is not enough because it's part of an integrated system. Um, you know, it's sort of like having four flat tires and only fixing one of those tires. Yeah, I see what you mean. So that's, that's the important point that I wanted to convey. Okay. But I think... I think, for me. Yeah, I, I really appreciate this feedback because it's really important because it's six weeks after we treated you. And oftentimes I post videos and people say, well, fine, you helped him that day, but what about a week from then? What about a month later? And so it's a very important feedback you're giving us because it's six weeks later. Mm, well, I'm glad. I'm glad to do it too. I'm glad you finally made it out to Denver. 
you, you don't want to know how old that blog is. It's pretty old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anything else? Well, I just want to say again, 24 seconds. It was no more than 24 seconds. <laughs> well, I guess I was expensive with what I charged you because I charged you a little more than 24 seconds worth of therapy. <laughs> Yeah, just amazing. But serious, okay. but seriously, in terms of what it cost you to get it treated, compared to what you had spent before, I would yeah. I would submit is very reasonable. Yeah, yeah, and the other part is, uh, you know, uh, a three, uh, you know, uh, on Southwest Airlines, there's times that I can get to. Um, get to Denver for a hundred and ten dollars round trip. Wow. In that period of time and I let that stop me from uh, doing what was logical but uh, at the same time it wasn't necessarily logical but yeah I knew as soon as I read that article I mean that blog um, man I, I knew that that's that's what it was so Man, am I glad I came. <laughs> well, next time you come, come early in the day and we'll go out to lunch. Sounds like a fair division of labor to me. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> and I'll buy the drinks. <laughs> iced tea. Yeah, I'll join you with an iced tea. Sounds good. Yeah, okay. Well, thank you, Mark. I'm really grateful for this. All right. You're welcome. And say hi to your wife. Well, I sure you. will. And say hi to Marie. Okay, I will do that. She is coming back from England uh, on 1st of July. Remember she was going to be walking across England? Oh, yes, yeah. Yeah, well, she's on her 13th day or 12th day, I think. Fabulous. Yeah, and she's having a ball, and uh, she, uh, you know, her, she says, my body is doing great. The only thing, uh, this is really the first time she's walked for a long time uh, and not got blisters. So really? She really picked up, she picked uh, a really good pair of boots. For nice, her. nice, very good. Yeah, and she said that uh, the only, only place in her body that was a little irritated was the bottom of her feet. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, so. Uh, anyway, she sent some, as a matter of fact, maybe I'll send you some of the pictures that she's... Yeah, that that would be nice. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you again, Jerry. Certainly. And, uh, the difference that it's made, man. Uh, I can go swimming. I can nice. Go swim I haven't been swimming in five years. Wow. Nice. And same thing with the horses, and same thing with, uh, you know... Hiking? No, man, I am so happy. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm very happy to hear this. And uh, when I'll see you again in Denver, and we'll have lunch. Okay, I'll take that as a promise and not a threat. <laughs> that sounds good. Take care. <laughs> hey, hey, here's the deal, too. Yes. Uh, you are handier than a left-handed two-handled hammer. <laughs> Very good. Glad to hear that. <laughs> Appreciate it. Take care. Okay. Good, good night. Thanks. Bye-bye.